I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome, man. Welcome, babies. It's, uh... Did you just call me a baby? No, that's to all my babies out there. Oh, to the, um, What's up, baby? the, uh, the Spe general audience. Speaking of which, uh, we just got back from MAGFest. Yep. Aaron is a hot, uh, disgusting mess. <laughs> uh-huh. He is, is all sick, so there'll be plenty of coughing this episode. I'm fucking sick as fuck, dude. Yeah. And I'm not talking about coughing the Pokemon. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> I Man, you're really understanding your Pokemon. Lady, I learned I things, um, and yeah. Make a make a pun about Poliwag. But, but uh, Poliwag a crack. Fuck. So like we were flying back from <laughs> <laughs> we were flying back from Magfest, and there was it was one of the worst flights we've ever been a part of. Yeah. Uh, oh, there was. Oh my God. There was, first of all, you go ahead. There was like a thousand babies. I like more than a thousand. <laughs> it was the, it was the most baby flip flight <laughs> it, there were, ever. Flown there were forty thousand babies in the seats, and then an additional twenty thousand stuffed into the overhead compartments. They had they had a fucking late. Like we were waiting in line to board the plane, and there was like a lady in a fucking like reflective jacket. That was like wheeling in an entire like bellhop thing full of fucking Babies. baby carts. <laughs> and it was like, why are there so many baby carts on this flight? Gee, I wonder. Yeah, it was amazing. And like from the second the plane takes off, just like nonstop screaming, screaming and crying and like rhythmic and like it went back and forth forever. And it was just. Such an amazing chorus of human suffering, <laughs> like I've never heard in my life. <laughs> I remember specifically that, like, you know, the flight attendants have like, th like tips that yeah. they can that they can give people. Yeah. And like this one dad was like talking to her about tips, and she's like, "We already gave you all the tips that you that you can possibly get." <laughs> and he's like, "Well, can you help?" And she's like. And then she distinctly says in like the most fucking angry, vicious tone ever. She she says, "The more time you spend talking to me, the less time you take controlling her." Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! And that that's crazy. Like I didn't hear any of that because I had big, big headphones on the entire time. But like it, it's uh. It, Brian has told it to me because he's he's my closest friend that has a kid, you know, and he says sometimes. What about and, me? Do you, really? Do you have something to tell me? Well, I haven't seen him in a couple <laughs> of years. But. <laughs> it's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, we've got some important news for you. <laughs> Wait, no, don't tell him. I wasn't ready. Your adoptive father is four years older than you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it it, it was it was. I don't know, Brian has told me that, like, sometimes, because Ninja Audrey, like, she'll go into, like, screaming, crying fits, and she's so distressed, and, like, her face is red, and there are tears streaming down her face, and then, literally, 45 seconds later, she's, like, smiling and happy, oh, like, yeah. nothing ever happened. Like, we took that picture, um, that we put on the... Ninja Sex Party Facebook of me next to her and she's smiling and babbling. She's totally fine. You would never know that literally 90 seconds before <laughs> you would have thought like she had watched her parents die right in front of her <laughs> Bruce Wayne style <laughs> and was old enough to process it. But Brian has said like sometimes sometimes they just go into like screaming fits and like there's no rhyme or reason to it and there's just nothing you can do. Like, you, you do everything within your power to try to calm them down. Like, he, he said that he and his wife were, were driving, and the, the baby's going nuts. God, I'll never get used to looking at this thing. Glooms are horrifying. Yeah. Anywho, um... Cum bucket. That's exactly what it is. And, uh... Yeah, he was just like, we were driving, and we had to be somewhere, and she's screaming and going nuts, and nothing will calm her down, and there's nothing you can do. You just have to fucking put on your, like, tough guy stare and just deal with it. And I'm like, oh, God, I don't want kids. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. If I had a kid, I'd probably kick it a bunch. Right. I mean, I, like, as we all would, but... Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, shut up. And then I'd kick it. Yeah. <laughs> when no one would actually kick a baby. Though I, I'm pretty sure that every parent, no matter how much they love their baby, has wanted to kick it. I'd deep probably down. kick my baby. I'd probably, yeah. Cool. So, 
Anyway, like the other <laughs> face. The other enjoyable thing. Can I can I do this, Aaron? Can I share the text? Yeah, go. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Okay, cool. I mean... Aaron, um, Aaron and I were, <laughs> and I were sitting in the airport, getting ready to fly out of DC, and uh, he. He sees there's there's one guy sitting across from us, and I don't really put anything together. See, he's a he's an older gentleman, um, a little bit heavy set, and uh, and <laughs> you know what? I'll just I'll just write the two texts that Aaron sent to me right in a row. Text one, motherfucking fat Tim Robbins over here. Look at this guy. Text two, that was actually Tim Robbins. <laughs> Because I guess Aaron, when we got on the flight, Aaron noticed that the guy was in first class and then saw like a movie trailer with Tim Robbins in, and he was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, he like looked me in the face too, like as I was walking by and he was sitting in his first class seat. Yeah. And I just got a good look at his Tim Robbins face. And I was like, <laughs> his Tim Robbins face. I was like, there he is. That's the guy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is funny. That's fucking Andy Dufresne right there. He's not that fat. No. He's just. You know, it was just really funny. Cause yeah, he's, and he's a, it was it was it was the posture. He had like a lazy posture. Yeah, just yeah. It was like he just didn't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like when you like him. sink into your own chin. Yeah, <laughs> it's understandable. He oh. is an outstanding actor, though. Not to take anything away from him. Oh my god. God, that me. was funny though. <laughs> to, just to read those two texts back to back. <laughs> oh, it boy. was it was a very special end. And, and I mean, like we're all fucked up because like Magfest, like. We had a great time. Oh my god, like, it was so awesome to, like, meet all of you, uh, who came out. We- we met thousands of fans, and thousands. like- Yeah, and just, uh, like, so many people, and such a- so genuine, like, such a genuine outpouring of, like, support and emotion, and it was fucking extremely meaningful. But, like, the, um, it just takes a toll on us, you know, like, the flights and the- oh, this fucking guy. The- 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 the flights and the the no sleep and the uh, just having to be on, you know, for for that length of time oh, yeah. and talking and all that. So, not to mention we recorded 14 episodes the day before we left and recording 14 episodes the day that we're back, which is today. Yep. So like, we're all fucked up. Like we're just the whole group is like a like just we should all be quarantined for six weeks. Much like those babies should have been quarantined into a soundproof booth in, oh, in the airport. That would be amazing if that did, if, if that was- oh, that would be so good. What a great idea. Oh, let's quarantine babies. Not- well, what if like an airline, like, had a, a soundproof section in the back where the baby like- baby section? Yeah, just- we- like, you could- if you had a baby, you just buy your baby seats. And like, oh. you, you know, for one or two parents, and like, you just hang there and fucking suffer. In 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 obscene <laughs> in, in an obscenely enclosed environment. That's what fucking dude. If there was if there was one airline that would do that, it would be Virgin America. Virgin America, yeah. The Actually, best airline there is. I believe Virgin Galactic is. Uh, they have the baby room? Yeah, well, I believe like their secret plan is to actually shoot a bunch of babies into space and Alone. leave them there. Yeah. Alone. By themselves. Exactly. So they can start a new baby civilization in it, space. Oh, it'd be adorable. I mean, it won't be a baby civilization for long. Dude, you just wrote a fucking summer smash movie. Like, Baby Planet. Baby Planet? <laughs> I mean, didn't they have a ton of it's movies? It's only Baby like Planet for like three years. Then it's fucking <laughs> Kindergartner Planet. What were the movies that like, um... They weren't Look Who's Talking, they were more recent than that, but like... It was all babies. It was all babies, and they make them talk using CGI, and it's super creepy. Oh, fuck, man, I don't know. Fucking baby... two babies. <laughs> <laughs> that is the laziest fucking sequel title I've ever heard. <laughs> baby two. Babies. Uh, yeah, sure, go with it. The movie goes up tomorrow. Yeah. Fucking slap it on. Baby two babies. <laughs> Starring a couple babies. That would also be like, um, an early 90s, like, fucking terrible, like, R&B group. Like, baby the number two and then babies. <laughs> with a Z. Baby to babies. Baby to babies. <laughs> 
They just sing cover versions of boys to men songs and then fucking throw up on themselves. <laughs> Yo, here we are, babies to baby. <laughs> okay, um... Do you, ever, do you ever see, um... You know the fucking... I don't know the... <coughs> I don't know the exact, um... Uh, quote. But it's like, from the mouth of babes comes the truth, or something like that. Uh-huh. Just meaning that kids are too innocent to know when to lie, or like... So they'll just, like, blurt out the truth. Uh-huh. My mom got me a card once that said, From the mouth of babes comes a lot of strained vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> next time I get a Oh yeah, I love my mom. I'm sorry everybody, the next couple episodes are gonna be like this. We're- we're fucked up. We're gonna talk about babies more. Yeah, we love you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> oh man. I'm down with the baby talk. Yeah. I yeah. got more baby shit. Mm. We're going we're going full babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, babe all the way.